Cyclone fans in the broadcast of Cyclone Athletics. It's Monday, January 30th. The Cyclones are here at home to welcome the Huskies of Winterset to town. Stepping out into non-conference play tonight. Cyclones with an overall record of 10 wins, 4 losses. And Winterset with 11 wins and 7 losses. Head coach for Winterset, Josh Henry, assisted by Corey Bradley, Gary Emmert, and Cole Williams. Cyclones coached by head coach Mitch Osborne, assisted by Chad Swanson, Kevin Osborne, and Dean Mosier. Having a little announcement by our public address announcer on uh, National Officials Week, so recognizing the nice job that those folks do. Getting ready to meet those starters from Winterset. Gary Emmert and Cole Williams. Starting for the Huskies, a senior, number, a 6'3 senior, number zero. Number zero, Charlie McDonald. He's a 6'3 senior. A six foot senior, number 10, Braden Dinkla. Number 10, Braden Dinkla, six foot senior. Number 23, Hayden Wilmus, a six foot junior. Number 35, Blake Furing, 6'2", senior. And number 44, Sam Hensley, a 6'4", junior. And now for the Cyclones. Number 21, Tegan Kasperbauer, he's a 6'2 senior. 5'11 senior, number 23, Brad. Number 23, Brad Kern, a 5'11 senior. A 6'1 senior, number Number 35, Jacob Birch, he's a 6'1 senior. 6'2 senior, number 51. Number 51, Jace Goobles, he's a 6'2 senior. And rounding things out for the Cyclones, number 55, Franz Rice. He's a 6'5 junior. Local Cyclone coverage on HLTV Channel 15 is brought to you by Keist Auto Center in Harlan, Iowa. Shelby County Farmers Mutual and Century Farm Insurance. Hanson House Senior Living. Experience life, experience Hanson House. Conducting Swampler is a proud supporter of the Harlan community, education, and student activities. We move your business forward. United Bank of Iowa. The difference is here, member FDIC. Polly Jones Funeral Home, longtime supporter of Harlan community athletics and events. We're your station for Western Iowa sports. Cool Goal 105.3 FM, Tano D in Harlan, Iowa. Family, Service, Community, SCSB. Dr. J's Family Eye Care, longtime supporter of Cyclone Sports in Harlan. Peterson Family Wellness Center and Lewis Family Aquatic Complex, live well. Cyclone Lanes, great family entertainment, including bowling, sandwiches, and homemade buttercrust pizzas. have some height out there. Usually the Cyclones have some height advantage, but tonight Winterset across the board has the height advantage. We'll see how that comes out in terms of post play and, and rebounding. Well, it's tipped away, shot clock getting down now to 10. Be a deep three pointer that's up, no good. Rebounded by the Cyclones. And they're going in transition. That's Jacob Birch putting up a wild shot, no good. Under 
Rogers set on the dribble drive. They're kind of getting in a little five out motion, not really getting in an established post player down there in the block. All five people usually kind of outside the perimeter trying to open up some driving lanes. And there's a two point bucket by number 10, Braden Dickla. It's Winter set on the board first. A little two three zone here by Winterset. Goobles pull up jumper, no good. Rebounded by the junior, number 44, Sam Hensley for the Huskies. And Winterset getting an all out, five out motion. No one in the lane there, nor on the block. And on the dribble penetration, step back jumper, no good. Rebounded on the backside by Goobles. And we're going to say last touch by Winterset. Ball gets inbounded. Two minutes played here in quarter number one. Cyclones trail two to nothing. Jacob Birch on the little running jumper up, no good. That was an air ball. Now Franz Rice collects the offensive rebound and put back. And Franz ties things up at two apiece. Ball goes down low. Kicked out. Three pointer for Winterset is good. And that is number zero, Charlie McDonald with the three point basket. Five to two, Winterset. Pull up jumper by Kern. That's an air ball, no good. Rebounded by Rice. He puts a shot up. That's no good. Rebounded by Jacob Birch. Fouls on the floor. So the Cyclones will inbound on the baseline. New shot clock. There's going to be a turnover and in transition. And it's the Cyclones tipping the ball away. And number 23, Hayden Wilms. Goes sliding on the floor. To be a travel, and then he ended up sliding out of bounds. So it is Cyclone basketball after the turnover. Winterset really getting active in their zone. There's a three pointer by Brad Curran to tie things up at five apiece. Winterset. Really kind of lengthy in that zone and pretty quick. There's a little dribble drive kick to their post player, no good. Winterset does come away with the offensive rebound. Twenty seconds on the shot clock. Pull up three pointer. Good. That is number ten. Braden Dinkla. He's got five on the night. And the Huskies lead by three, eight to five. Ball goes down low to Franz Rice. Franz goes right to work, drop step, scores the bucket. Franz has got four, and the Cyclones trail by one, eight, seven. Four minutes played here in quarter number one. The shot up, and gonna be last touch by winter set, so it'll be Cyclone basketball. Cyclones get it across the timeline, up to the high post to Casper Bauer. He kicks it out to Birch, now skip pass over to Arkfeld. Arkfeld, dangerous three-point shooter from the corner. We'll see if they get him some looks. He gets the offensive rebound after the missed three by Birch. So Will Arkfeld is fouled and is going to go to the free throw line. He's a 75% free throw shooter on the season. Going to have two free throw attempts here. 
And that first one's up no good. Substitute into the contest for winner set. That's number 30, Hudson Wilms. Replacing brother Hayden Wilms. Second free throw is up no good. And it's going to be rebounded by Winterset. 0 for 2 was Artfeld. 3.33 left to play in the opening quarter. Cyclones trail by 1, 8 to 7. Cyclones switching on the ball screen out front. The ball's tipped out of bounds. It's nine seconds on the shot clock. 3.13 left on the game clock. Ball oh, gets inbounded and a three-pointer is put up no good. And it's gonna be last touched by the Cyclones. Ball oh, gets inbounded. New shot clock for winter set. Winter set content with kind of getting the floor spread here, looking to take the Cyclones off the drive. Still 15 on the shot clock. Three pointers up and good by number 35. Blake Furing, third three-pointer for the winner set. The ball goes off the leg of Franz Rice. So turnover Harlan Community. Four-point lead for the Huskies, 11 to seven. They'll dribble weave out front. Three-pointer from the corner is up and good. That is number 30, Hudson Wilms. Fourth three-pointer and four winner set, and they've doubled up the Cyclones, 14-7. Brad Curran gets to the basket. They're gonna count the basket and send Curran to the free throw line for a three-point play opportunity. 14-9. Huskies made free throw, makes it 14 to 10. Cyclones trail by four, two minutes to play. And that's gonna be number 10, Dinkla on the layup attempt. This is no good, Cyclones came away with the defensive rebound. Ball goes down low to Joseph Rice. He puts it up, no good. Minute and a half to play in quarter number one. That was number 10, Braden Dinkla, trying to get the block to block pass on the dribble penetration. Ball is kicked out of bounds, so the possession will stay with. Harlan Community, or excuse me, with Winterset. Franz Rice back into the lineup for brother Joseph. Donald puts up a three, no good. Hensley gets the offensive rebound. And a shot along the baseline is up and good by number 30, Hudson Wilms. 16 to 10. Winner set with the lead, and there's a steal and layup by, again, Braden Dinkla. 18 to 10, eight point lead for winner set. We go under a minute to play in this first quarter. Shot put up by Rice. Foul's gonna be whistled on number two. Kaylor Baby for Winterset. T 
teams, or his first personal foul, teams fourth. There's going to be a turnover by the Cyclones. The shot clock actually should be off as there's 27 seconds on the shot clock and there was less than that on the game clock. Winter set trying to run some time here down to 10 seconds. Kick to the corner. Donald has it on the dribble drive, puts a wild one up, no good. Kicked out, two seconds left, three-pointer up and good by number 30, Hudson Wilms. That's his second three-pointer of the quarter. That's gonna bring us to the end of quarter number one where the Huskies lead the Cyclones 21 to 10. Gonna take a quick break and be back with second quarter action and play. You're watching Cyclone Basketball on HLTV, Channel 15. At United Bank of Iowa, the difference is here. Conveniently located at the corner of Highway 59 and Pine Street in Harlan, you'll always find a smiling face to greet you and help you with all your banking needs. We offer competitive rates on deposits and loans and the latest in technology with our online and mobile products. Come and find out for yourself why the difference is here at United Bank of Iowa. Member FDIC. Welcome back, Cyclone fans. Out of the quarter break, the Cyclones trail the Huskies from Winterset 21 to 10. Cyclones to have first possession here of the second quarter. Ball goes down low to Franz Rice. Rice is, converts on the field goal. He's gonna to go to the free throw line for a three point play opportunity. Price is a 45% free throw shooter. That one's up and good. Rice with seven points and the Cyclones trail by eight. 21-13. Under set with a pull up jumper, no good. Burch with the Defensive rebound and the Cyclones off and running in transition. Ball goes down low to Franz Rice, back out to Birch. Jay Scoobles kicks it out to Casper Bauer. There's an almost turnover. Winterset really gets into the passing lanes. Three point shot up put by Birch. No good, rebounded by the Huskies. One minute played here in the second quarter and it's a eight point Husky lead, 21-13. Three pointer up on its way, no good. Rebounded by Google for the Cyclones. Kern's gonna have a pull up and he got caught in the middle of the air. Gets up in the air, was gonna try and make a pass, couldn't put the shot up, rebounded by Winterset. The switch on the post screen there. They posted Tegan Kasparauer up and scored the bucket. By number 35, Blake Fury. 6-10 to play in the half. Cyclones trail by 10, 23-13. There's gonna be a foul on Jace Goobles. His first personal foul, team's first. 23-13. Huskies as they get the ball across the timeline. Again, Winterset really getting the floor spread and trying to 
attacks and dribble lands. There's a little give and go. That's fearing on the give and go, but he misses the bunny at the basket. Goobles puts a shot up and good. Jace Goobles with the basket. The Cyclones with an eight again, 23-15. Huskies with the lead. Fearing puts a shot up, no good. Cyclones come away with the defensive rebound. Ball goes, tries going down low, kicked out of bounds. Cyclone basketball on the baseline, 5.05 to play here in the first half. Jace Goobles was kind of with uh, winners that really wasn't paying attention there, and Cyclones take advantage of them not paying attention. The Cyclones have cut it to six, 23-17. And there's a three-point bucket that's good for Braden Dinkla. And gets it back to a nine-point game, 26-17 Huskies. Three-pointer from the corner is good by Casper Bauer. His first points of the night. It's a six-point Husky lead, 26-20. There's going to be a foul on Goobles on a little give-and-go to Fearing. The second personal foul on Goobles. Second personal, second team. Three or four subs going in for winter set. For the Cyclones, Will Arkfeld and Joseph Rice come in. Little skip pass. Four across the defense. Set again, dribble drives and kicks it out to the corner. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Donald with a step back three is no good. Winner set there for the offensive rebound and can't save it. Out of bounds, turnover by the Huskies. Twenty-six twenty. Is the score. Cyclones trail by six, under four minutes to play. 342 left in the half here from Harlan Community High School Gym. We'll skip pass over to Curran and then the steal from the wing to point pass. And it's back to an eight-point Husky lead, 28-20 after the Cyclone turnover. Curran getting trapped along the baseline. Shot put up by Kasparov, no good. Gets his own rebound and good. Kasparov with the field goal. Winner set off and running. Cyclones do a good job of getting back defensively. Pull up jumper, good for number zero, Charlie McDonald. He's got five, and it's still an eight point Husky lead. 30 22, and after the made field goal by Joseph Rice, Cycles are then six, 30 24, with two and a half minutes to play in the half. Shot up, no good. Is number 10, Braden Dinkla. It's a shot attempt. Kern's going to put up a three. That's no good. Rebounded by Hensley. Ball goes down low to Fearing. Fearing's going to try and post up Casper Bauer. He gets to move inside, and that's going to be a foul on Casper Bauer. Be Tegan's first, team's third. And they'll send number 35, Blake Furing, to the free throw line for two. First one is up, and no good.
Second free throw by Fearing is up, no good, but rebounding things there is Hensley. He's getting a little wild out there. Bodies flying on the floor each. Coach won a foul call, and here's a three-pointer up by Kasserbauer. It's no good. Numbers four, winner set, score the basket. Number 23, Hayden Wilms. Eight point, winner set lead, 32-24. Franz Rice puts a shot up and good. Franz Rice down low. He's got nine and he's gonna go to the free throw line for a three point play opportunity to get 10 points for him, for him and pull the Cyclones to possibly within five. So some substitutes into the contest for both teams. Minute 22 left in the half and Franz Rice to the free throw line. And that's up no good. Winterset does come away with the rebound. Three point shot up by Winterset, no good. Rebounded by Birch. Birch across the timeline. He's going to let a three pointer fly. That's short, no good. Winterset comes away with the. Rebound and train McDonald. No one finds him. He's going to put up a three. No good, but need to find where he's at as he is a three point threat out there. Shot no good. Foul on the floor. Foul's on McDonald. He's going to send Franz Rice to the free throw line. 48, 45% free throw shooter. Is Rice one of two from the free throw line? He's got a one on one attempt, and that one is good. There's going to be the free throws, no good, and a foul on Jacob Birch. Thirty-five seconds left to play. But a six-second shot or six second difference on the shot clock to game clock. McDonald with it out front. Three pointer is gonna get put up and that is good by number 32, Grant Fury. He scores a three pointer. Five different people for Winterset have made a three and there's Will Artfeld closing out the half with a two-point bucket. That's going to get us to halftime where the Cyclones trail the Huskies from Winterset 35-28. We'll be back with some halftime stats and second half action of play. You're watching Cyclone Basketball on HLTV Channel 15. Welcome back Cyclone fans, getting ready for second half action of play here from Harlan Community High School gym. Cyclones trail 35-28. Cyclones were outscored in quarter number one, 21 to 10, but then outscored winner set 18 to four in the second quarter. Unofficially scoring for the Cyclones, taking Casper Bauer five, Brad Curran six, Will Arkfeld two, Joseph Rice two, Jay Scoogles four, and Franz Rice nine. Five different people have scored three pointers for winter set. 
We'll see if the Cyclones can shut down some of that dribble penetration where Winterset likes to get into the lane and then kick it out for some three-point looks. A little backdoor cut to start the second half, and that is number 23, Hayden Wilms, with a bucket. He's got four. Cyclones try a little play themselves and a little lob play to Franz Rice. Cyclones can't convert. Winner set again, spreading the floor. McDonald with it out front. Shot clock down to 12. Here's a three-pointer up, no good. Rebounded by Birch. Cyclones across the timeline. Kern's gonna pull up for three. That one's no good. Rebounded by the Huskies. One minute played here in the third quarter. Cyclones trail by nine, 37-28. And then there's a three-point basket. So they're gonna trail by 12, 40 to 28. And Coach Mitch Osborne wants to take a time out, talk things over. And we're going to talk to you about some fine sponsors that make this live broadcast come to you at home, as well as on a rebroadcast basis, those being United Bank of Iowa, Cyclone Lanes, KNOD Radio, Keist Auto Center, Dr. J's Family Eye Care, Holly Jones Funeral Home, Conductix Wampler, Shelby County State Bank, Hanson House Senior Living, Shelby County Farmers Mutual and Century Farm Insurance, and the Peterson Family Wellness Center and Lewis Family Aquatic Complex. So out of the timeout, Cyclones trail by 12, 40 to 28. 6.45 left to play in the third quarter. Kern puts a shot up, no good, but it is fouled, so he's gonna go to the free throw line. Kern with six points here tonight. He'll have two free throws. So he was fouled in the act of shooting. First one is up and good. Second free throw is up and good as well. Kern three for three from the free throw line. That cuts the winner set lead to 10, 40 to 30. Ball goes out of bounds. Latch touched by the Cyclones. Winner set basketball on the baseline. Ball gets inbounded to McDonald up top. They're going to space the floor. A little ball screen by Hensley. McDonald's going to put a three up. No good. They're rebounded by Hensley for the Huskies. Trying to post up Fearing down low. Fearing's going to kick it to Hensley. Hensley, the left-hander with a 16-foot jumper. That's Sam Hensley, and he finally gets on the scoreboard. He's got two points. Lead back to 12, 42-30 in favor of the Huskies. That was whistled on number 10, Braden Dinkla. Cyclone basketball on the sideline. Kern with it in the corner. He goes dribbling at the basket, puts a shot up, no good. Rebounded by Hensley. Huskies across the timeline. They kick it out to McDonald. He's going to let a deep three go. Cyclones continue to leave him open. They got to identify him in transition, and now it's a 15 point Husky lead, 45 to 30. Ball goes down low to Franz Rice. Rice scores the basket. He's got 11. The 
Donald again, pull up jumper, no good. Offensive rebound ran down by the Huskies. Little floater by Dinkla that's no good. Goobles, nice bounce pass to Franz Rice. And Franz Rice with the bucket. Nice feed from Jace Goobles. Cyclones now on a little four point run themselves and they trail by 11 though, 45. 34 to the Huskies of Winterset. Jumpers up and good, and that's a three-point basket by number 23, Hayden Wilms. Cyclones to inbound on the baseline. Birch with it on the dribble drive, goes up, no good, rebounded, winner set. 48-34. There's a bucket, 50-34. Cyclones trail by 16 here with under four minutes to play in the third quarter. Three-pointer up by Birch and good, Jacob Birch. Scores the bucket. He's on the on the scoreboard. And then there's going to be a foul called on Casper Bauer. Second personal foul on Casper Bauer. There's a out of bounds play, missed shot. Winterset gets the offensive rebound, put back, misses. They get another attempt and get called for the foul on the rebound. That's three fouls on number 23, Hayden Wilms. Three thirty left to play. Cyclones with the turnover, but Will Arkfeld cleans it up. He puts a shot up and good. Will Arkfeld scores the bucket. He's got four in the Cyclones. Trail 50 to 39, and then there's a foul on Casper Bauer again as number 10, Braden Dinkla, gets to the basket, makes the field goal and is fouled. He's gonna have a three-point play opportunity. Free throws up and good. Now some full court pressure by Winterset. Cyclones handle that. Well, get it across the timeline. There's Will Arkfeld from the corner, and he's dangerous from that corner. He's got seven. The Cyclones back to within 11, 53-42. Winner set in a five-out motion. There's a deep three that's no good, but the Cyclones don't run after it. And that's Hensley hustling after the Offensive rebound, and he saves it. He's going to turn out of a pull-up jumper that's no good, and Birch finally comes away with it for the Cyclones. And that's going to be Brad Kern got his pocket pick. And winner set back on offense now. McDonald from the top of the key, and he's going to pull up a three, and that's good. And that's... McDonald with a deep three. It's going to be a timeout by Harlan Community as Winterset has extended the lead back to 14, 56, 42. Local Cyclone coverage on HLTV Channel 15 is brought to you by Keist Auto Center in Harlan, Iowa. Polly Jones Funeral Home, longtime supporter of Harlan Community Athletics and events. Family, service, community, SCSB. 
Conducting Swampler is a proud supporter of the Harlan community, education, and student activities. We move your business forward. We're your station for Western Iowa sports. Cool Goal 105.3 FM, Tano D in Harlan, Iowa. So out of the timeout, the Cyclones will inbound the ball in the backcourt. Some full court man-to-man -man pressure put on by the Huskies. They're trying to find Franz Rice down low. He's got 13 for the Cyclones. He kicks it out to Kerr and Kerr on the dribble drive. Kicks out to Birch. Birch is going to let a three fly. No good. The rebound saved by Winterset. Minute 25 left in the quarter. And there was McDonald thinking that Furing was going to roll to the basket. Turnover Huskies and the Cyclones are going to get it to Arkfeld. Thought he was going to drain it from the corner. He's dangerous from that spot. Minute 10 left. D642 Huskies. So we close in on one minute here in this third quarter. Huskies really spread the floor and now they're gonna dribble drive. They got Hensley down low. McDonald out top here. Now on the dribble drive, a foul is gonna be called on Birch. Gonna be the third team foul of the half. Second personal foul on Jacob Birch. Shot clock will reset to 35. There's 51 on the game clock here in the quarter. seconds left on the shot clock. Pull up jumper, no good. Rebounded by Birch. Cyclones have it now with 30 seconds left on the game clock. Shot clock's turned off. Winter set kind of extending some of their defense out front here as we get down to 12 seconds on the clock. Jacob Birch kicks it to Arkfeld, and his shot is blocked out of bounds. Two point five seconds left. Ball gets over to Curran. Curran puts a three up, no good. And that's going to bring us to halftime. The score is winner set fifty six, Harlan Community forty two. We'll be back with fourth quarter action to play. You're watching Cyclone Basketball on HLTV, Channel 15. Local Cyclone coverage on HLTV, Channel 15 is brought to you by Shelby County Farmers Mutual and Century Farm Insurance. Hanson House Senior Living. Experience life, experience Hanson House. Dr. J's Family Eye Care, longtime supporter of Cyclone Sports in Harlan. Cyclone Lanes, great family entertainment, including bowling, sandwiches, and homemade buttercrust pizzas. United Bank of Iowa, the difference is here, member FDIC. Peterson Family Wellness Center and Lewis Family Aquatic Complex, live well. Welcome back, Cyclone fans. Getting ready for fourth quarter action of play. Cyclones are outscored there in that third quarter, 21-14 by the Huskies of Winter set. And as we start the fourth quarter, Cyclones are down by 14, 56, 42. Oh, 
Cyclones to have first possession here of this fourth quarter, and they're going to try a little lob play to Franz Rice. Number 32, Grant Fury saw that coming, and he just fouls Rice before he even had an opportunity to shoot the ball. First personal on Fearing, fourth on the team. There's a three-pointer up by Arkfeld that's no good. Winterset comes away with the defensive rebound. And there's going to be a turnover as number 10, uh, Braden Dinkla, stepped on the end line. A fouling whistled here on number 30, Hudson Wilms. It's going to be five team fouls on Winterset. Cyclones, hopefully, they can get into the one and one here soon and get to the free throw line with some scoring opportunities with the clock stopped. And that is Will Arkfeld scoring the bucket. He's got nine. 12 point. Winner set lead, 56-44. Dinkla on the dribble drive and kick out. They go dribbling in again, kicks it out. Wilms on the baseline, puts a shot up and good. They're gonna call an offensive foul. Tegan Kasperbauer taking the charge there for the Cyclones. So wave off the basket, and the Cyclones down 12. Just under seven minutes to play. Trying to cut into this Husky lead. Three-point shot up by Arkfeld, no good. Rebound ran down by Winterset. Fearing with it out on the arc. He gets it kicked out, and Winterset's going to spread the floor. Six and a half minutes to play in the contest. Again, Winterset leading 56-44. Now they got a little mismatch on that screen. They got Franz Rice guarding their point guard, and Brad Kern trying to defend their post player. They have a little... Bucket by Fearing. Three pointer by Kasperbauer is up and good. Tegan Kasperbauer, he's got eight points, and Coach Mitch Bosborn wants to take a quick timeout. Coach Mitch Osborne has given some instructions how they want to defend Winterset there in the half court. As the Cyclones have cut it to 11, 58, 47. And the Winterset basketball with the lead out of the timeout. Out of the timeout, Cyclones trail by 11, 58-47. It'll be winner set basketball inbounding in the backcourt. Cyclones gonna look to pick up a little bit full court here. Winner set's gonna clear everyone out and let Wilms bring the ball up across the timeline. Dinkla has it now in the wing. He's gonna have a little dribble drive opportunity. Kicks it to Wilms. He gets all the way into the basket and scores the basket over the top of Curran for a bucket. 13 point lead, 60 to 47 in favor of the Huskies. Here's a three pointer by Birch, that's no good. Rebounded by Kasperbauer, he puts a shot up, that's blocked, no good. There's gonna be a foul on Kasperbauer. So 
Mills in on five as a fourth personal foul on Casper Bauer. Cyclones trail by 13, 60, 47 with five minutes to play. McDonald from the corner puts a shot up, no good. Rebounded by Hensley, he puts a shot up, that's no good, and he's fouled by Rice. So send Hensley to the free throw line. Hensley have two shots. First one's up and good. Second free throw attempt coming for Hensley. That's up and good as well. 15 point lead for the Huskies, 62-47. All goes into Goobles, he kicks it out to Birch. Birch on the dribble drive, and he's fouled by Hensley, so Birch will go to the free throw line for two. Birch is a 52% free throw shooter, and he'll have two free throws coming. First one was up, no good. Second free throw coming for Birch. And that one's up and good. Birch with four points here tonight. Four and a half minutes to play in the contest. I'm going to call another offensive foul on number 10, Raiden Dinkla. Cyclones with it in the half court against the half court defense. And there's an air ball by Kasper. Winterset comes across the timeline with it here as we close in on four minutes to play. McDonald, three-point shot, nope, no good. Rebounded by Casper Bauer. And possession here is gonna stay with the Cyclones. Substitutes into the contest. Will Arkfeld comes in for the Cyclones. Three pointer up by Casper That's short, no good. Nice hustle play there by Franz Rice. Kern runs it down in the backcourt. Kern gets it over to Arkfeld. Cyclones had numbers there for. Second, but didn't pull the trigger. Birch gets it over to Arkfeld on the dribble drive. Shot clock violation. Turnover on the shot clock violation by the Cyclones. Three and a half minutes to play. Cyclones trail 62-48. Little dribble weave out front. Wilms inside, kicks it out to Helms. Wimsley puts up a shot, no good. Rebounded by Franz Rice, and we have three minutes to play. Layup good by Jacob Birch. We're gonna have a timeout by the Cyclones as they get back within 12, 62-50.
So out of the timeout, it is Winterset basketball with a 12-point lead, 62-50. Cyclones picking up full court. Cyclones back in their man-to-man -man defense. McDonald on the dribble drive, and he goes all the way to the basket. That is Charlie McDonald scoring the bucket. 14-point lead for the Huskies, 64-50. Ball goes right into Joseph Rice, and he's going to get whistled for a travel call. Kind of got up in the air and came down trying to put the ball on the floor and whistled for the travel. Turnover Harlan Community. Winter set gets the ball inbounded. Now they got a three on two break. McDonald's gonna fire up a three. No good, rebounded by Birch. And then the Cyclones turn it back over. And then good hustle play by Winter set, but the, he was laying out of bounds. So it will be turned right back over to the Cyclones. 2-12 left to play in the contest. 64-50 in favor of the Huskies. Ball goes down low to Franz Rice. He puts a shot up and they're gonna say a travel call, but either way it's gonna be, either way it's gonna be Husky basketball as the possession arrow favors them. So whether they call it a travel or a jump ball. And then there's gonna be a foul. Whistled on Jacob Birch. So some substitutes into the lineup now for Harlan Community. Yep. Braden Eggers out there. You have Jason Erlmeyer, Ben Linen, Brett Hazy, and Quinn Kesters. Four fifty with a minute forty left to play in this matchup between your Harlan Community Cyclones and the Huskies from Winterset. Shot is put up, no good. Rebounded by the Huskies, and then there's a foul. Foul's gonna be on number three, Braden Eggers. Send winner set to the free throw line for two. That one is up and good. Second free throw is coming. That one is up and good as well. 66-50, 16 point lead for the Huskies. Ball goes down low to Hazy, and he has it taken from him. And there's going to be a three-point shot up by the Huskies. No good and on the offensive rebound attempt for Winterset. A foul is going to be called. We're closing in on a minute to play, minute five. Ben Linen at the free throw line. He'll have a one and one. And that one's up and good. And the Cyclone lineup now, number 31, Caden Brock, 25, Weston Rice.
That is up and good. Sixty six fifty two. Where is that running there? Oh, motion uh, offense. Shot goes up. Oh, ball fake anyway. Shot clock down to 10. And there's going to be a layup attempt missed by winner set. And there's going to be a timeout for some subs to get into the contest here. Meyer with a three-point attempt. That's no good. Rebounded by the Huskies as it's down under 20 seconds to play. Down under 10 to play. Here's gives it to Quinn Kester's Weston Rice. Kester's Wiz is going to pull up shot. No good. Rebounded by the Huskies. And the Cyclones are going to fall to Winterset by the score of 66 52. It's going to drop the Cyclones to 10 and 5 on the season. We'll improve the Huskies' record to 12 and 7. We've been watching Cyclone Basketball on HLTV, Channel 15. It's been Jonathan North on the camera, Bill Mueller on the play-by-play. -play. Once again, Cyclone Basketball on HLTV, Channel 15, where it's always great to be a Cyclone.